So here is the first one. It is IIT Roorkee. It was established in 1847, and uh, it, it is one of the top seven IITs of India. And here is the information category wise. I will talk about it for general. Minimum marks to enter into IIT Roorkee is 102 marks. As of now, it can vary. That is two marks more or two marks less, but it will be around that. And for female, it is 77 because there is female separate reservation available. And for OBC, 83 marks. And for EWS, 96 marks. And For SC, it is sixty-eight marks and fifty-nine marks. It is not one hundred eight marks. It is sixty-eight marks and fifty-nine marks. And now, if we talk about for ST, it is forty-three and forty-seven marks. So this was about the IIT Roorkee. So now let's talk about the next one. That is IIT Guwahati. Here is the information. It was established in nineteen ninety-four. So here is the uh, information about general category one twenty-one and ninety-seven marks. And for OBC, ninety-eight, seventy-two marks. So one more thing, I would like to inform you. If you will think this is the lower IIT than IIT Roorkee, how I will get this IIT with more marks? So I would like to inform you the newer IIT that that has been that has been established on or after two thousand or around two thousand. Those IIT are having less branch as compared to other one that is old seven IITs of India. Uh, those all seven IITs are having multiple branches that is lots of branches. So for lowest possible branch, you will able to get it low marks also. But other IIT that is newer IIT like IIT Guwahati are not having so much branch. So like, you get my point. So next, if you talk about for EWS 109 and uh, 86 marks. Now if you talk about for SC category, it is for uh, 54 and 52 marks, not 72. It is 52 marks. Now if you talk about for ST it is 59 and 47 marks so now if you talk about the next one that is uh, IIT Kanpur it was established in 1959 so here is the information that is for general 119 and 101 marks and for OBC 92 and 68 marks EWS 109 uh, and 88 marks and for SC it is 51 and 70 marks because sometimes more female candidate uh, apply for a particular IIT that's why the cut off for female candidate is more and cut off will depend on the number of applicant that is who are applying for a particular IIT if suppose if no one apply for IIT bombay that is not the case because everyone will apply for IIT bombay but suppose if that is a the case then IIT bombay cut off will be 5000 10000 also that is whatever the student who will apply there the uh, they will provide the seat it is not like the 2000 only the cut off for 200 on rank is the cut off for, uh, for iit bombay or any any other iit as well so cut off completely depend on the number of applicant who is apply who are applying for the particular branch of a, of a particular iits so hope you get my point so now let's talk about for st 52 and 43 mark uh, now if you talk about the next iit that is iit kharagpur so it was established in 1951 so here is the information that is for general 98 79 marks and for obc 83 EWS 96 and 72 and for SC 46 and 57 and for ST it is 38 marks so on next one that is IIT Delhi so here is the information 1961 is the establishment date of this college as you all know this is the top 3 IIT of India so here is the information for general 135 113 marks will be required for OBC 105 and 77 marks and for EWS 115 and 93 for female you have to a score less as compared to male because you are having the reservation there So now if we talk about the next one SC 61 45 and for ST it is 84 and 54 marks. So now if we talk about the next one that is IIT Bombay the dream college of every IIT aspirants it was established in 1958. So here is the information that is for general 135 108 marks and for OBC 102 and 83 marks and for EWS 117 94 marks will be required and for SC 56 and 52 marks and for ST it is 57 and 45 marks not 97 it is 57. So now, if you talk about IIT Madras, it was established in 1959, and according to NRF ranking, it is the number one IIT of India. So here is the information. So for general, 112, 100 marks. That is for male, female, OBC 92, 75, EWS 106, 86, and for SC 50 and 72, and for ST it is 54 marks. So now I would like to introduce the Philo app, where you can get the solution of all your question, doubt, or you have problem with any type of concept related to JE or NEET or boards examination. Then you can get the solution 24 by 7 with these three easy steps. That is, first you have to download the Philo app in the Play Store, and then you have to do the sign up process using your mobile number. And after that, take the photo of your question and upload that in the app. And after that, within 60 seconds, you will be connected to the India's best educator. In question, me, you want to know that the bulb's power is how much? If the bulb is, it is 220 voltage per operator, right? This battery's voltage is given as 220. So this is a simple relation. अब अगर कोई आपको और डाउट है तो बताइए सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग योर टाइम डाउनलोड द फिलो एप लिंक इज अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स एंड यूज द कोड आई ई बी डबल जीरो वन यू विल गेट द टेन परसेंट इंस्टेंट डिस्काउंट